I'm Rachel Holt from JOMC 132, and today I'm going to be talking to Sarah McCombs, talking about her hobby of playing The Sims. We all have heard of The Sims game, a virtual reality game that allows the player to take control of their own simulated world. Taking full advantage of this virtual world, sophomore Sarah McCombs said that she plays The Sims whenever she gets the chance and goes even as far to call herself a Sims expert. When did you first start playing Sims? I first started when I was like eight. I used to play with my sister all the time and I've been hooked ever since. Um, it's more of an addiction than a hobby at this point. It's kind of a problem. Sarah said The Sims is more of a lifestyle than a hobby and she takes the game a bit more seriously than she'd probably take school itself. What is your favorite part about playing The Sims? Uh, I just, I like creating people and houses primarily, and then I get really caught up in keeping them alive and making them happy, but making the houses and like designing things and making people is the most fun for me. Sarah said The Sims is more than just a game. It takes skill and patience to truly master and control the virtual lives of others and make sure everything is perfect. If you're going to convince someone to start playing Sims, what would you tell them? I would tell them that it's the greatest game in the world and that they can create the life that they wish they had in a few minutes quickly and that it's really fun and addicting. The Sims is a great platform for creative and abstract thinkers who like to design and create. Some colleges have been talking about introducing Sims for architect majors. How do you feel about that? I think that it's a good starting basis, like it definitely got me interested in kind of building houses and things like that, but I feel like there's probably better software to actually do architectural things because it's not necessarily the most accurate. Mm. When asked if anyone thought it was strange how much she played The Sims, Sarah said that many people have judged her for her obsession with The Sims, but it doesn't face her one bit because it has been such an impact on her life. Sarah said she probably games for about six hours every day to make sure she's up to date with her Sims lives. She builds her weekly schedules around these blocks times of Sims play. Why do you think Sims is so important to youth these days? Um, I think it's just a fun, safe game for kids to play. You know, it passes the time, keeps them interested, but... It's not, like, shady or dangerous for kids to play. It's just kind of a virtual reality game. Sarah says she will continue to keep playing The Sims games for a while and hopes to eventually start her own Sims League with a group of people to play The Sims. She said she hopes everyone will eventually play The Sims game and it is truly a life-changing and educational experience.